So today we're going to be taking a look at another RGB product. This one's from Easy DIY. Uh, I've looked at a few things from these guys and they just make some pretty interesting, unique RGB hardware. Uh, this one is going to be the silicone RGB sleeve that goes over your uh, water cooling hoses, you know, whether that be an AIO or just a radiator, just your, your soft hoses there. But there's a couple of manufacturers where I've seen these, just the silicone sleeve that goes over it. So it's a fairly simplistic device. There's 15 LEDs down the middle of it. Uh, overall, the length of it is 330 millimeters and it should fit 12 millimeter hose. From that, you just get a splitter cable that connects in uh, the RGB lighting to these. There's no controller with this. There's a little bit of mounting hardware to connect it to the hose itself. The RGB connection is just a standard five volt, three pin ARGB connector, which would allow you to just connect it up to your motherboard header. Um, or in my case, I'm gonna connect it up into the Corsair system using an adapter cable. So upon opening the box, uh, you do get some documentation. You get the two sleeves themselves, and they are fairly bendy. Uh, just, you know, the LEDs are just down one of the back sides here, and you get the cables out on the side. And then it is just split down the middle, and that's how you're going to attach it. And so you get two of those. You just get some connection rings that kind of hold it in place. And then you just simply get uh, the RGB cabling itself, and it's just kind of a splitter cable. So it's just the three pin, five volt ARGB connector with the connections to this. So the length overall, is not terrible. I think that'll be enough to work with in most cases. And of course, there's a little bit of length here uh, at the end of these. Now there's nothing inherently difficult about installing this product. Uh, it's soft silicone, so it's very easy to do. But essentially, you just wanna start on one side and split open this silicone tube and then just slide it over your water hose and just kind of work it on there. Again, it's not really difficult. Now this AIO here, the one with the black hoses, was relatively simple to do. I'll show you coming up. I did the other one in this other case. Uh, it's a white uh, water hose. It has a much tighter bend in it and it's kind of weird how I bent it. And so that one was a little more difficult to get looking good. But once you get the first one on, just put the second one on. And the only thing you really need to consider at this point is which uh, end do you want the connection. And we'll talk about that in just a second, but basically just orient that so that it's, uh, you know, the cable that's gonna connect to it it's just closest to where it's going to connect to on your motherboard or uh, you know your controller. Once you get those installed, you're just going to take all these little clips. Uh, there's six of them total. You kind of separate them. They're pretty tight, so you kind of got to work them on there. And then once you get those on there, uh, this, the whole thing with this product is just going to be take your time and you just kind of have to work it so that it's looking its best. But basically, just get those on there. And you can, there's really no right or wrong way to uh, position them, just whatever is going to look the best. Now, regarding that cable, there's two ways to connect it up. The cable from your motherboard or controller has two connections on it. You can use just one connection and then connect it at the ends, as you see here in the middle, basically. And it will act as one big RGB strip of 30 LEDs. That looks good because the effect will kind of go across all of them, as you see here. But you can choose to do it another way. You can disconnect that and leave both of those end connectors just empty and use the splitter cable and connect both ends here. But then they each get the same signal. So as you see, they just do the same exact thing. So you might want to play around with that and just see, you know, whatever's going to give you the best, uh, you know, visual aesthetic. Now, if you choose to use the splitter cable, these connections at the end, there are a couple of RGB products that use this connector. This is a deep cool fan, as you can see here. You could extend off of that. Obviously the next thing to do is just go ahead and route your cable back. Uh, in this PC, I'm just using an RGB hub. Now this RGB hub is then connected to a Corsair Core XT uh, using an adapter cable. And once you kind of get all that in there, you just want to kind of work this hose and you kind of have to twist it around and work those end caps you know, because you kind of got to get that seam to close up here. As you'll see on some of these videos, that seam is not quite closed and you can see the black, uh, you know, hose underneath there and it doesn't look very good, but you just have to mess around with this is what I found. This tube, because it's straight and it has this slice down the middle, you kind of have to rotate these around and it will eventually just kind of naturally close up on its own as you can see here. Once you get it to kind of naturally close, because it's soft silicone, it actually looks pretty good. 
you can still see it when you're looking at it, but uh, you can achieve a pretty good look with it, at least on these this more gradual uh, bend in these water hoses I was able to. The, the other one coming up that I'll show you was a little more difficult to do. So you can just kind of get a visual representation here of kind of what that looks like. I'll give you my final opinions here in just a minute, but it does actually look pretty good. Uh, you know, the, the LEDs are on the back of that on a white strip, and as you kind of hide that back there, it kind of does diffuse out in a pretty cool way. Now this is a Corsair IQ that's running these uh, RGB effects and it looks good. You could play around with this, you know, connecting the end cables and making it one big sequence or you, you know, you're just going to have to mess around with it until it looks its best. I've got this video as close as I can get as a representation of what they look like in real life. I would say the camera probably diffuses the look slightly and so it maybe is not quite so diffused in real life, but it's pretty close. It looks pretty good. Now here's the Tower 500. Uh, as you can see here, the water hoses here have kind of a more of a unique bend. It wasn't necessarily really difficult to put them on, but it's di it was difficult to get them looking good. I really had to kind of twist and turn um, you know, to get these to close up. And as I'll show you here in just a second, it I really honestly was never able to get this to look really great. Now, if I'd have spent some more time with it, perhaps. Now, one thing I did have to do, and you'll notice down at the bottom of these cables, it's kind of black right there. It's because really to kind of get it to close up, I had to really kind of twist them in some weird orientations. And as you'll notice kind of on the backside, it's kind of, it's such a tight bend right there. It kind of crinkled it up a little bit. Now, again, probably would be able to mess around with that and get that to uh, look a little bit better. But I had messed with this for a little bit and wasn't it just was not really easy to get that, that crinkling out of there to get the seam closed, you know, and at least to me on the very ends here, it didn't look all that great, you know, because when you bend around things, it kind of changes, uh, you know, the, the two ends of that silicone sleeve don't line up. So it's kind of hard to get the clip like really looking good. Now you could spend a lot of time with this and you could really make it look nice, I think. And here's a close up of how that kind of crinkled up. So I think, the tighter your bend is in the water hose, the more problematic this product's gonna be. So is this a product I would recommend that you run out and buy? Well, as with everything, it greatly depends on kind of what you're looking for. Uh, the pros of this product are, is it does look really good. It's pretty eye-catching when you first see it. The RGB diffusion uh, looks great, uh, provided you can get it twisted in the right uh, way and you know get it oriented good, and so, Anyways, it's a good looking product, at least from an RGB diffusion standpoint. And the second pro to this is it's fairly simple to install. It's one three pin, five volt ARGB cable. You get a couple of different connection options depending on whether you want it to be one long uh, RGB strip or if you want it two single ones doing the same thing. And of course you can expand off of the end of that if you have the right uh, RGB equipment, but I wouldn't count on that for most people, I think. And so those are the pros of this. Uh, I think the cons to this are, is if you have a tight bend in your uh, water hose, I think I would skip it personally, just with the crinkling that I had. You could probably manipulate it to get it to look good, but I wouldn't count on it. Uh, the second problem of it is, is an aesthetic problem. It's not that it looks bad, but it's like around the ends of it, it's kind of difficult to just get it looking perfect depending on the length of your AIO cable. And so there, but you can work around all that. You could make it look good. Uh, the other con to this is, this is my personal opinion, is I, I left this on my uh, desktop for a couple of days, you know, so I could sit here and stare at it and kind of get an idea of, you know, how you feel about it after a few days. And it just kind of started to feel like somebody with a big jacket on, you know, somebody's got a big winter coat on, it's just kind of fluffy, you know, kind of big and puffy. That's kind of the way it started to feel. Even though it kind of looks cool, I kind of just start not really like the aesthetic of it. So that's my personal opinion. And uh, so for me personally, I've taken them off. And although I really like them, kind of the look of it, I, I don't love it. And I'm not going to leave them on there. To me, it looks better without it personally. Now, there might be some other uses for these. I was thinking maybe, you know, some cable management hoses or tubes or something like that. Some other cool place you could use them. 
Uh, if you have any ideas on that or whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any questions about this, I am always happy to answer questions uh, when I can get to them. And uh, thank you for watching. And that's going to do it for today. Bye.